It's September! What's in my gear? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. A autumn fall content video. I am literally just living for it this year. I have been waiting this second half of summer to put back on my hoodies, to put back on my leather legging bottoms, which I've got on right now, to put back on the trainers, and just completely embrace pumpkins and leaves and winter walks and all autumnal goodness that I, I just can't get enough this year. Maybe it's because I've just got my new house, so obviously I'm, I can decor a lot more, I can sort of make more of it, but I also find it more fun because in the UK I find it a bit of a mission to get autumnal decorations and decor for the homes. It's all I find either like extremely Halloween and like gore scary or it's just like yeah like sparkly glittery temporary things and like kiddie sort of decorations whereas I'm really after the really nice autumnal I can't even think of another descriptive word but just cozy but more mature bits you know so I got an email from Ikea saying that the new autumnal range is in and it actually looks quite cute there's not a mass range of it but I wanted to pop on down anyway and come and check it out for you guys and do a bit of a shop with me I'm solo today on my own I'm just gonna head on in I I'm so ready for just a bit of me, myself, and I, and you time, um, just to have a little bit of a shop. I might even get meatballs, I don't know. I'm gonna go see Nan after this, so she's probably made pasta, so I probably won't, but I'm definitely gonna pick up some stuff in the market hall. I actually needed to make this trip anyway to get a couple of shelves, really boring, but I thought as I can cover the Ikea autumn content for 2021 anyway, it would work out perfectly. So, without further ado, I know you're all waiting patiently. Let's get on in store and see what's new in. Okay, so here we are back at Ikea and I go to Ikea in Bristol if you guys are wondering. It was actually really busy considering I went on Wednesday which was the 1st of September but I had to grab a bag obviously because I was getting ready to shop here. Heading over to the first display, I noticed this absolutely stunning Pampas Cloud, I think that's what they're called. Unfortunately, no, Ikea don't sell this. I imagine they sell the bits and bobs, but they don't actually sell that or I would have most certainly bought it. But I wanted to show you this table setup because I really loved the gold cutlery. I never knew Ikea did gold cutlery, but I'm usually a silver girl, but I thought it was really stunning. And I loved the window doors on that kitchen as well. I, of course I spotted the eucalyptus. This was actually £2.50 a stem, but it was a really, really beautiful muted green. I caught in one of the showrooms this really large glass vase. I always like to show floor vases because I feel like they aren't as common. And this was only 22 pounds and it was really big. So if you're a Pampas fan, these are always great to get a hold of. I just wanted to show you this showroom because I really liked the vibe of like the pantry style kitchen. I love glass storage. I love organization. I think if you're renovating a house, it's really great to come to Ikea and go to the showrooms to get some inspiration because you can literally build an entire room um, and I just find it super, super inspiring. But heading over to the beauty and mirror section, I spotted this beauty room Hollywood mirror setup. You guys know from my last Ikea haul, I did buy these. So they're 15 pounds for the lights, but bear in mind, you have got to buy the light bulbs separately, which are a pound a piece. And then I spotted the mom dressing table. I haven't seen this in so long. This used to be the OG beauty guru table and it's only 75 pound and they're still selling it, which I think is just incredible. Heading over to to the autumn Ikea 2021 section, exactly what I come in for. I loved this setup. I loved the orange, the greys, the cool tones, the ambers. It was so, so appealing and cozy. So the first thing of the collection that I spotted was this little bunch of the pumpkin and a couple of pears. So this was £4.50 and obviously you get three in a pack. They're quite lightweight, but they'd be really great for a little autumnal centerpiece that you could create. I then spotted one of the three wreaths that were available in this new limited edition 
edition collection. This one was the little ma Japanese maple blossom one. And then probably the star of the show is this pumpkin um, bag. I'm really not too sure what this was all about, but it's a little zip up pumpkin. It was five pounds, um, which you could totally just use as a straight up decoration. I then noticed that they added in these placemats, which are four pounds a piece. These are definitely white company dupes. They are part of the permanent line though. They aren't specifically for the uh, limited edition autumn range, but I think they're really great value for money. I loved that part of the autumn range, they brought out a limited edition pie dish. This was a heavy duty pie dish. It was a really beautiful gray color as well. And it was nine pounds, but you could so see that having like pumpkin pie in it. And I love the vibes. Right, back to the containers and the normal stuff. So just had to overview this, the aesthetic. I love the Ikea glass bottles, you know me to count every single thing. I also love their fake plants and I wanted to show you that if you buy any potted plant, you do get 20% off the pot, which they definitely weren't doing before. So that's really handy to know. Into the kitchen section, this sort of caught my eye. They're £1.75 and I really liked the look of this mug. It was a really nice stone color. The camera's not really translating it perfectly, but I just quite found those aesthetically pleasing. And then of course, a couple of foodie bits. They had this massive pack of biscuits for just £3.50. They were oat biscuits covered in chocolate. And then they did have new chocolate nut bars, which just was everything to me. And they were only 75p. It's all a Cozy autumn vibes need to be with a blanket. So I spotted this for 19 pounds. This was like a really sweet baby pink color. I just pictured it in like a nursery for a little baby girl, but they did do like a cream. And I think they also did a brown color in it and they are 19 pounds a piece. Sticking with bedding, I've never seen this before, but they did this beautiful bedspread. I thought it was a weighted blanket, but it's just a quilted bedspread. But 35 pounds is really reasonable. And it was this stunning stone color that I absolutely adored. Heading into lighting, this is the new trending sort of style of lights I've noticed across a lot of websites, but obviously IKEA are the most affordable. So the sort of wired lightings I'm showing you here, they had a lot of different ones. Mainly it was just black and gold they offered, but obviously you can remember you can spray paint them any color. And then IKEA have become quite popular on Instagram for their rattan lighting. These do not look very big, but they were 50 pounds a piece around, but they were massive. Candle wise, there was this new, was new in store, which is a pillar candle, but it was a stunning taupe brown nude color. I really, really liked it and it was only £1.25. Or if you've got more of a black theme, they had this beautiful charcoal color as well. I was looking out for the limited edition IKEA Autumn Candle, which I did find just here. It smells like cinnamon and sugar, but it was actually sold out in my store. This is £2.50 for this little candle. While I was in the candle section, I did notice this light, which I loved the look of. It reminded me of a Hearst style light, which can cost quite a lot of money. And it was only 25 pounds. I did think about buying this and spray painting it white because kind of loved it. <laughs> So going back to the wreaths, this is the other wreath that they offer at Ikea. This is £12 and also limited edition, but I'm not too sure how this is autumnal. I feel like it's more palm leaves, like more summer. They did actually have a pampas wreath and that's what I come in store for, but it was totally sold out. But I just wanted to show you this other wreath, which that shows the colors a lot more true. They did also have potpourri as part of the limited edition autumn Ikea range and it was only a pound, but unfortunately my store was sold out. Well, thankfully, I managed to pick up the shelves that I need, even though it says temporarily out of stock, and I've got the last two with one left. But I just spoke with the lady, and there is no wreaths left in store, and they're not due to come back in. And that's like literally, apart from the pumpkins, the one thing I really wanted, and the serviettes as well, the autumn serviettes, but they're not back in, and they're not coming back in apparently. It is just what it is. So I'm pretty gutted, to be honest. I got some really good stuff though, and I'm gonna go to Market Hall and have a quick look there. And I got the shelves. Although now I'm looking at the shelves, they look massive. So I'm a bit like, some might need to come back anyway to return them, but we'll see. They actually do this really nice, what they call oak white wash, which is actually really nice. But obviously as you guys know, I have no wood in my house. So I can't just plonk two wooden shelves. So it has to be the high gloss white. So go and pay for this and have a look at Market Hall. I'm looking forward to Market Hall. 
just before we leave to check out, we do have to go to the sales section in Ikea. This is now called the Circular Hub, which is all about giving a second chance to all the different bits and bobs that didn't sell at Ikea. As you can see, it's a little bit of a jumble sale. I didn't personally find anything here, but I just wanted to cover it to show you guys that you can get some bargains. You just got to go in and have a hunt. I then headed over to the market hall, just had a general browse and also picked up some gravy and meatballs. In spring, rainbow trout and hummingbirds. Oh. And breathe. You definitely get your step count in IKEA. I literally just walked around everywhere because why not? But anyway, there we go. Um, so disappointed that they didn't have the wreath and i spoke to actually an employee to double check and they were like it's out of stock in bristol i checked yesterday and it said low stock so clearly i've just missed it and apparently it's not coming back in as well which is crazy and i think they literally only just launched so that's really annoying i did manage to get some bits in back there so you can see my shelves and i got my little bag full of stuff so when we get home i will share with you my little ikea haul of things i bought i'm still really happy with my little purchases but yes i am going to head home now and i'll see you all at home and i'm home hello squeegee hello squeegee how are you how are you <laughs> oh. Oh my god, look at that! Ah, Jerry, what did you do for me? Thank you! Did I hit 50,000 subscribers today? Ah! Oh my goodness, look what I have just come home to! I'm so excited! Today, I hit 50,000 subscribers! <laughs> yes! Thank you, Squeegee! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! Right, better go show them all what we got from Ikea! <sighs> and we're chill. I actually can't believe that. It's so sweet, guys. Today, I literally, this morning actually, was it this morning? I can't remember. I hit 50,000 50, subscribers on this channel. It honestly means the absolute world. If you've been following me over on Instagram, you would have seen that I've been sharing the countdown since we got to sort of 800, 900, and now we're actually here. So absolutely amazing. And that was so sweet to be surprised by that 50K. But just using this opportunity to say thank you so much to every single one of you who has subscribed and obviously if you are new around here and this is the first video you've ever seen of mine then hello my name's Amy I do lots of come shot with me's on this channel loads of interiors fashion beauty jewelry accessorize and literally accessorizing yourself and accessorizing your house that's pretty much my channel if you like the sound of that if you like neutral style if you like bargains then this is the place to be so I'd love you to join our 50,000 family next milestone is a hundred thousand so Mark, mark your calendars, 1st of September is when I hit 50,000, so how long? 1st of September 2021, 50,000, when is gonna be 100? Make sure you are heading over to my Instagram and following there if you're new as well, both my normal and my home Instagram because I am doing giveaways over there on my normal Instagram. I'm nearly gonna hit 4,000 followers, so I will do a giveaway when we get 5,000, which is gonna be very, very soon because the growth is going so quick. And the home Instagram's the same, I've already done a giveaway on there, but I have another giveaway coming, which is very exciting. Anyway, I wanna show you guys what I picked up at Ikea. As you've seen, we did go and have a little shop. So I was, like I said in the car, I wasn't uh, super impressed, unfortunately, because my store had sold out the wreath, the one thing I really, really, really wanted. So that wasn't great, but, and also the lady said they won't get anything back in, like that's that, and you can't even order it on the Ikea website. So that's really annoying. I mean, as you can see, I do have the best wreath ever anyway. So it's not like I needed it, but I liked the fact that that one was like plastic and fake pampas because I wanted to put it on my front door. I thought that'd look quite cute and obviously then it's weather 
safe. But I did pick up a few things. So the first thing I picked up, you would have seen that I picked up in store and I vlogged, but it is these IKEA shelves. I'll do an overcut here. So this is the two shelves I bought. I'm actually probably going to return these now um, or return one of them. So as you can see in this clip, Andy's actually checking where the studs are. So we wanted this to go up in our kitchen so I can have sort of a few more storage areas and I can have like my jars up there of flour and things like that. We do obviously have a brand new build house if you have been on my journey and with the new build houses in the UK we have plasterboard walls and we've come to find that our external walls don't have studs. They literally like, I don't know what's going on, but they don't have studs. Um, so we've been using grippets and if you've been following the moving blogs, you'll know I live by grippets. So I think we're gonna grip it one into the wall um, but we're gonna return one as well. But that shelf is amazing and it's only nine pounds. And then I did pick up a few odd bits as well. And I did manage to get some autumnal bits and bobs and I'm quite excited about them. So the first thing I picked up was this new color candle. Now I don't think that the lighting is gonna do it any justice, but it's basically just a really nice um, brownie beige colored candle. I really, really like this. I've actually got a normal, um, plain white candle and I think it would look quite nice together as well. I think these ones are almost like the paraffin style candles so they don't drip the wax, they kind of just evaporate which is really nice and this is a 40 hour burn time as well and it is uh, 14 cm high if you're wondering but yeah the colour showed better in the overclip but got a pillar candle. It then did have that one candle that was new in for autumn which I think I told you about on the video which was in the tin and it did smell lovely but honestly it was nothing special like it was cinnamon and sugar or something like that um, and it just genuinely, there wasn't even any left in stock. Like clearly everyone's gone mad for the for the autumn stuff um, this year, but it's not okay, but I definitely wasn't impressed by it. Um, I have actually been to Home Bargains today, which is a video that's coming very, very soon. Um, to check out all of their Halloween and home and autumnal stuff. And can I just tell you guys, it was very successful. But I actually picked up a candle from them, which is one of their Wickford Co candles for like 2 dollars in a beautiful scent and it looks amazing. So I would like much rather have spent my money on that, which is what I did. But I did pick up these because I loved the scent and then I loved that they were orange. Obviously this is very autumnal, but these are the Sinlig um, tea lights and these are actually in like orange and peach flavor. So almost kind of, I mean, I still think it's kind of, oh, it smells like Georgia Peach from Bath & Body Works, if you've ever smelt that. It literally smells amazing. But I've got a couple of, I've got like five glass tea light holders from Ikea. So I'm thinking of doing like a little centerpiece in our coffee table or our dining table. And then I was gonna pop these in there because they're obviously orange, so they look quite autumnal. I think this was literally like £1.75, £1 possibly. It's super, super cheap. And the candle I think was £1.50 or 25 as well. I then did pick up from the, finally, from the autumnal range when we were at Ikea, the Hostilk, Host, I can't say it, you, anyway, I picked up this. <laughs> You've seen it in the overclip. So it is just a little bunch of um, pumpkins and pears, basically autumnal fruit. Now, I have no idea what Ikea were thinking making them this almost Tiffany blue white color. I have absolutely no idea, but I am definitely gonna be spray painting these um, beige or just plain white to be honest with you, I think, because they are, they're really cool designs. I love, I love the pumpkin. I wish there was two pumpkins rather than like pears, but I've come to notice even in home scents this year that there's like loads of pears. I think that's the new autumnal thing. But yeah, these were £4.50, so they weren't the cheapest, but they're still very cheap considering we don't really get too much autumnal stuff. But yeah, I don't know what they were thinking with this color. It's a bit strange. And then the two final things I picked up were from the food hall. This was new in Ikea. This is the chocolate, not milk chocolate with hazelnut. It just looks really good and I love nut milk chocolate. So I got that to try. And then I picked this up because it literally looked so good. This is the Nada flatbread, flatbread baking mix. And if you can look, it's almost like a chapati style thing. I don't even know, I think you just add water. Um, but yeah, these literally look so good. I don't know if they're sweet or savory, but I don't care to be honest. They just look really good. And the chocolate was like less than a pound. I think it was 75p. And this I think was like one pound 50. 
So guys, that is everything I picked up in Ikea and the Ikea Come Shop With Me for autumn 2021. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. I will be heading back to Ikea to check out the Christmas stock, which before we know it, is literally gonna feel like it's tomorrow. I was in different stores today and places have already started putting out Christmas stuff, which I must admit, Chris, if I'm getting this excited for autumn and like decorating the house, you wait till Christmas. <sighs> Anyway guys, this has been a long video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it all the way to the end, make sure you leave me a nice little star psh emoji. I don't really call it the shooting star emoji down below if you're on a mobile device. If you're on your computer, then just leave me a little colon and smiley face. And apart from that guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for 50,000 of you on this channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Stay safe and stay beautiful. Ciao.